Today let's learn the basics of Ionic framework. I have created a folder called Technotip. First requirement to start Ionic project is to have Node.js installed. I have already installed it. So let's check the version of Node installed in our machine. By the way, I'm using Windows 10 operating system for this demo. Similarly, we need Cordova and Ionic installed globally via NPM that is Node Package Manager. I also have them on my system so let's check the versions of them once we have all these installed let's start with the basic ionic project all ionic commands start with the keyword ionic at the beginning these are predefined templates that is tabs side menu and blank ionic app so this is the base ionic app base is ionic library and dependency files in the background they are being installed it will be here in this folder it will take considerable amount of time depending on your internet connection so next it will download the ionic tabs templates from its official github repository these are some of the ionic commands i'll explain them shortly in this video these are some new ionic services you visit those links and know more about them again these are some of the ionic commands we will be using shortly so this is our application directory that is my app one these are the these are the plugin folder plugins for our ionic on which our ionic pro project depends oh well wait i think i we need to get inside our project folder first that is cd my app one this folder so these are the plugins these are the plugins our project depends upon which are present inside this plugins folder inside www folder we have our ionic library library file and our js file this is library file we don't edit it so these are templates files our project uses also remember we need to have our android sdk installed on our machine before we could build our app go to developer.android.com and look inside developers tab for the sdk download link once you have it installed you can add android platform and continue to build the project but you don't need to build the project to view it on the web browser so i'll just do ionic serve command to run the application in a browser and visit this link i'm showing on the screen in your favorite browser so i'm using google chrome here i'll go to google inspector tool so this is our app and the template you are seeing is standard tabs template so this is our ionic app the minimalistic that is the design presented given to us by ionic team we could edit it but i'll show that in some other videos so use ctrl c to come out of the ionic server ctrl plus c you could also use minus l option to get additional log information during app development and testing phase now let's build our app but before that we need to add the platform that is android so use cordova platform add space android if you are on mac and want to build for iphone then use ionic platform add ios 
we are on windows and want to build for the platform android so we use ionic platform add android so now those files those plugins are being installed onto our project that is those plugins are actually installed now these are environment variables make note of it if there is some problem with your environment variable then here you have the values also check this path it will be useful in future just notice it did need not take it down so we shall after the build process is over we shall see our project in emulator using the command ionic emulate android i have set the emulator to show in uh, nexus 7 device to set nexus 7 we need to use avd manager of android sdk well i want to inform you this if you want to test in emulator it really takes a long time to load a lot of time once it loads uh, it automatically installs and launches the the app okay the emulator is turned on now and our application is installed and will be automatically launched in a few seconds as i said it's very slow dead slow by the way let's compare this emulator output with our web browser output well immediately you could see a difference that is the tab in the web view is at the bottom and in the emulator it's at the top by default it will be at the top by the way in coming videos i'll show how to stick that to top or at the bottom we can press hold our app icon and drag it to our home screen home screen just like your usual uh, mobile device as i said emulators are dead slow i'll close it and show you how to use a real device to check our application i just showed you the emulator just in case you want it when your device isn't in your your hand i'll press ctrl c quite a number of time and get rid of this okay i'll execute the command ionic run android with minus l that is additional log details so this is my real nexus 5 device i'll turn on my wi-fi and enable developer options it's already enabled i'll enable usb debugging now and then come back to my command prompt so my device that is nexus 5 is connected to my pc using usb cable it's it automatically gets installed to my device and it launches by itself so these are some of the things you would want to try so well if you have any issues while while running your app do let us know about it along with the error message in the comment section of this article link to the article is present in the description section of this youtube video also please share this video with your friends on your social networking profiles and please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video or the link present on your screen right now thanks a lot